The 78 has many exciting progress milestone this 2022. with Next Gen Real Estate and Property Management, serving Chicago land and selling, buying, and managing properties. And if you enjoy content like this, please let me know by subscribing and hitting that like button. As always, you can find a link below to schedule a free consultation with me. Today, I will discuss the latest updates about the 78th, the next community area in Chicago. We previously discussed the 7 billion mixed use mega development along the south branch of the Chicago River in the near south side community area. If you're new to this channel, check out our previous videos about the 78 in Chicago right here. So let's get down to business. Here are three key milestones that happened to the 78 recently. First, Chicagoans include future 78 residents will reside in a different ward than before. Next, Related Midwest gave the University of Illinois Discovery Partners Institute the title and right to claim up to three acres for the DPI building. In this same building, the Defense Innovation Unit, DIU, and the other Department of Defense, DOD, partners will open an open defense innovation office. Lastly, the city of Chicago's could raise the one hundred million dollars by a TIF TIF bond issue for the 78. So let's dive deeper. The 78 will move from the 25th ward to third. The new ward map was approved in May with a 43 to 7 council vote. This is significant because this map will reposition power centers for the ensuing 10 years. So many Chicagoans will find themselves residing in a different ward. The near south side ward, represented by Alderman Pat Dowell, already had one mega development in one central. In the new ward map, the 78 will move from the 25th ward to the third. Number two, Related Midwest gave the University of Illinois Discovery Partners Institute the title and the rights for the set. The next crucial progress in the 78th is about its anchor institution, the University of Illinois Discovery Partners Institute. The DPI executive director Bill Jackson says that they will proceed to break ground late next year on a $250 million headquarters building. This statement came after Related Midwest gave the University of Illinois the title to one acre inside the 78th mega development. With $250 million already secured for the first structure, the research institution project will also be granted the right to claim roughly three acres of adjacent land for additional phases of development. It is anticipated that the university project would be finished in late 2025 or early 2026. Beyond science and technology, the DPI is opening its door to defense innovation. In an April 21st, 2022 press release, the Defense Innovation Unit announced that it will have an office in the DPI building. The Chicago office aims to identify new solutions, companies, and talent across the Midwest to solve pressing national security challenges and offer companies a faster path to Department of Defense contracts. DIU will share the space with representatives from the National Security Innovation Network, the Army's 75th Innovation Command, the Army Research Laboratory, members of the Illinois National Guard, and other DOD innovation groups. Possible $100 million by a TIF bond issue raised by the City of Chicago. Finally, the most recent update about the development of 78th is the decision of related Midwest to negotiate with the City of Chicago Chicago for a $100 million TIF bond issue. This comes after the 78th River Casino lost out to Bally's Casino in the approval process for the first casino based in Chicago. According to the terms of its agreement with the city, Related Midwest is required to pay the Metro and a lot of other work on its own. Property taxes are paid to the 78th tax increment financing districts would be used to repay the company. But with no casino approved, the 78th will not be collecting any property taxes. So Related Midwest President Kurt Bailey has started discussions in which the city would advance the funds rather than Related Midwest, who would be reimbursed by property taxes from any future developments. In this regard, the city legally would raise the $100 million by a TIF bond issue, repaid by eventual property tax income or the shift funds from nearby TIF districts. 
Ultimately, Related Midwest is working with the city to find a solution to get the infrastructure needs to be done, at least DPI and two or three other facilities this innovation center needs. In spite of challenges, the 78 is right on track to Chicago's next great community. It will rise as a dynamic and resilient 21st century neighborhood that can galvanize communities and transform Chicago. So what do you think about 78's latest updates? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and as always, where's your future?